Sharky Breath. He plays video games. Okay, hello and welcome back. Uh, I just wandered around town a little bit, and it turns out, yeah, there's a quest right here. Look at this. Hey, Liana, what's uh, what what's happened? What what what? Barta didn't come back again. Wait, isn't she the one who was in that cage before? I'm afraid this time she went to investigate the Leviathan bones in the southwest. Oh, isn't that the the that area with like the the desert? I mean, the dragon something. I was looking at the map. I I tried to stop her. But obviously it didn't work because she's not here. Well, yeah. But everyone knows that area is the domain of the Mulduga, so who would figure she'd even go close to there? Ooh. Yes, nobody would dare. And not only that, but it's an extremely hot zone, so we wouldn't last long there in our gear. You... You idiots! That scatterbrain wouldn't even realize she was walking into danger. I mean, you know that, right? <laughs> Why, it was just the other day she ran off and got captured by the Yiga. Ugh, I guess Barda will be Barda and you all aren't going to change. But still, why does she have to go and get in trouble like this all the time? Okay, so I guess go find Barda. Sure. And that's... that's that area that... Yeah, Dragon's Exile, that's the one. Leviathan Bones, got it. And it looks like there are... a couple different Bokoblin... Well, I guess they're not necessarily Bokoblin, but those skull things that have... enemies, enemy camps. There are a couple enemy camps in the area, it looks like. And, uh, apparently probably some uh, Mulduga. So that'll be a good time. Alright, let's go check it out. I do indeed need to cross the Vascarudo Desert. Seal that deal. Man, I don't have very much money anymore. Whoops. Well, I'll do something about that eventually, I'm sure. Off we go. Let's see here. I can probably switch into my new armor now. There we go. Looking classy. And now I have all the heat resistance in the world, so... Should be in good shape to deal with the, uh... Nasty, nasty... Uh, dragon... Dragon's Exile, or whatever it was I said a minute ago. Dragon's Exile. That was it, alright. Plus I have a keen top knot. Look at me go. Alright, let's see if we can... Are you, is that that's a traveler? That's a traveler. Okay, well, let's 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 help the traveler. No, get off, get off, Flink. Okay, that's is it is it those same two? Are you serious? Jeez, can't take them anywhere. Okay, come on, come on. I think it is those same two treasure hunters. Do you got a man? Just. Get out of here! I can't tell if it is or not. Okay, maybe don't put that away. I was trying to do the... Yeah, that! I put the wrong button. Come on, do it. That didn't work. That's okay, that's okay. I got this, I got this! No problem. Alright, who are you? What are you doing here? Hello? Dilly. How do you move like that? It was almost worth getting attacked to see it. Here, take this. You deserve it. Chili fruit pie. That's convenient. Thanks, man. We're headed for Gerudo Town, a shimmering oasis in the desert. You're not going to get inside. Someone told us it's a whole city of foxy ladies. I'll bet they'll treat us to fine studs like kings. Well, you might be surprised. Say, you're not jealous of our plan, are you? Well, too bad. No copying our idea. We had it first. Besides, what woman would be interested in a skinny twig like you? I... I have no idea, sir. Alright, well, how about you? What's your deal? Give me more fruit pie or something. Hi. Jorah. Gerudo Town, here we come. We're young, we're single, and we're on our way to a burg full of ladies. <laughs> I bet they dig the way... Big dig your way with a sword, fella. Do bad about your face, though. Man. Fine. Glad I saved you. At least they gave me a fruit pie. All right, where'd my seal go? There it is. There it is. What, you're just gonna stay here? Well, that's a great idea. You do what you want, guys. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay, so there's a camp. It looks like they've got some nice stuff. 
but it also looks very well defended. <coughs> Oof. Actually, I could only see one chest in there. Still, a chest is a chest, right? Alright, you stay here. I'm gonna see what I can't do about this place. Hmm. What if I just... I missed. Like that. There we go. That uh, didn't actually help that much. <laughs> now they know they're under attack. But, uh... Hmm. Oh, and the sun's going down. Okay, you know what? You know what? Oh, well, the sun is definitely not coming down. It's just, uh... Afternoonish. I'm not. I'm not too concerned about that camp. I'll come clear it out later on. Let's let's get on our way to Dragon's Exile. I want to actually see what this is all about over there. Oh, good, a Mulduga. Oh, good, a Mulduga. Okay. I'm gonna need to have to. I'm gonna need to. Oh, he's right there. I'm gonna need to deal with the Mulduga and not ignore him. Okay. 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 S Hi. Wow. Yeah. That that he was just right underneath me, wasn't he? Here, catch. Yeah, check it out. There you go. Great. Great. Okay, what's my best damage weapon right now? Um, what I'm definitely not gonna use. Okay, Guardian Sword Plus it is. Okay, cut your face off, cut your face off. Hello there, I wish I see you have a face. It's a shame about your face. Oh jeez, that didn't, that didn't last very long, did it? Okay, down he goes. Can I light this torch? I can. I wonder if there's any purpose in that. Well, there's a couple here. I bet there's a Korok or something. Well, I'll, uh, see to that as well as soon as I'm done murdering this Mulduga. There you go. And... Guardian Spear, I guess. Well, it's not gonna last very long against this. Alright. There you go, there you go, there you go. Making funny squeaky noises. But it's not gonna stop me from chopping your face off. And you can... This really isn't doing very much damage, is it? Okay, there goes my spear. Let's get back up here before we get murdered. Moidilated. He's at half health. And we blow up his face. <laughs> ah, I do feel a little bad for the poor guy. Um... Maybe ice weapons would work against him? I don't know. Seems like he might be sensitive to cold a little bit. Not particularly? No, not particularly. Man, I've had this this frost blade for a very long time, haven't I? Come to think on it. Most of the game. It does decent damage. I'll give it that. Maybe I should just bomb him some more instead of trying to use a weapon on him? It probably would work. It just... yeah, it does a little bit of damage. <laughs> and a hop and bop. I just don't want to break all my weapons on his stupid ugly face, you know? Hey, get off the platform, dude. I can't... I can't... Okay, wow! It is my pleasure. That I did not expect. Holy crap. Gotta make it back to the land. Gotta make it back to the land. Oof. Oh, boy. Jeez. He is unhappy. Oh, he's, he's trying to kill my seal. Pretty successfully at that. Well, no, he, he went after the Lizalfos, didn't he? Okay. He's just murdering anything he can get his hands on. Oh, I'm just standing in the fire, meanwhile. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to deal with this guy now, because... Oh. There we go. He dead. Convenient I had this weapon out, isn't it? Okay, I've never seen the Mulduga do that rampage thing, but I guess I've learned. Okay. Let's just finish this guy off, hopefully. Okay, it's, it's gotten cold out. I'm gonna have to do something about that real quick. Just a second. Uh... Cold. Cold. That one. There we go, there we go. I don't want to use up this weapon, but I also... I can't afford to let this fight go on any longer. 
Okay, okay. Don't get hit by anything he does. Okay. There we go. There we go. Catch the bomb. Catch the bomb, you big galoot. Uh, he didn't even notice it, did he? Catch! Run away, run away, run away! Okay! I guess I asked for that. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know if I even have any fairies. Let's, uh, let's have a food, shall we? I don't feel like dying today. Um, there we go. Eat, 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 eat. <laughs> that didn't do very much, but I don't need very much. If I get hit again, I'm gonna die regardless. Okay, there we go. And boom. Alright. Four realsies this time. Take him out! Thank you. Wonder how many of those I'm gonna have to deal with today. Eesh. Muldugas. They're a bad time. He had eaten a chest, it seems. Guess that's fine. <laughs> and a buck. Let's see here. What we got? That's a very nice sword. How about this one? Yep. That's a very nice bow. I came out of this alright. I mean, I did break two weapons on his face, but... Yeah, it could be worse. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So... These torches, though. Let's, uh... See if I can do anything with these torches. Alright, I have sand boots now, don't I? Just a moment while I put on my sand boots. Uh... There they are! Yeah! Look how fast I am on sand now! Amazing! And I only had to emotionally manipulate a creepo guy to get to such a state. Good for me. Okay. Let's see here. Did that do anything? Oh, there's still one more. Okay, there's a, some creature with a spear behind me. I'm gonna pretend I didn't notice. Ha ha! Is it a shrine? It's a shrine! Okay! Well, that's cool and all. Okay, so there's one problem here. If I go into that shrine... It's going to make my seal no longer exist. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to work my way over to it. I'm going to activate it. Fokayu. I'm going to activate it, and then I'm not going to not go inside. Yeah, you just tunnel away. That's right. There we go. And I'll come back for it. Promise. Now I just need to find... Oh, don't tell me I lost my sand seal anyway. I did. Okay, well, fine. You know what? Fine. If that's the way it's gonna be, then I'm just gonna do this shrine right now. See how you like that. Sheesh. The foe you're fighting is too strong, get stronger. Okay, cool. Thanks for the advice, load screen. Alright, Thokayu. What you got in your box? A golden bow with high durability. Shame about my inventory, in it. Okay, I feel like I've got a nearly broken bow that I can get rid of in here. Apparently I'm wrong, but I can get rid of this traveler's bow, that's for sure. That's not doing me any favors. Okay. Great. Now then. Free this old mummy man. Most importantly, give me a full health. That's very convenient at the moment. Because I just got my butt kicked by a Mulduga. Hmm. Thank you for teaching me about the diet of moblins. Turns out they eat meat and fish. Who could have guessed? 
Ah, well, that's all right. Maybe when I've got my disguise on, I can feed them or something, and something comes of that. Maybe I'll try that sometime. That'd be kind of fun, right? Give me that volt fruit. Give me that volt fruit. Fine. You won't give me that volt fruit. I won't give you it. You don't get to exist anymore. Wow, this is a one-handed sword that does 36 damage? That's crazy talk. Straight crazy talk. Okay. Well, I feel like it's actually going to be faster if I go straight all the way back to Gerudo Town and just travel out here again than just run south through the dunes. So let's do that. Which does mean I'll have to change again twice. But whatever, man. It's fine. <coughs> it's fine. Pardon me. Can I have a drink of water? Because, as I mentioned last episode, I'm sick. Or I was, anyway. I'm still coming off of it. If I had been trying to record while I was in the middle of the being sick, oh, man. It would have been a bad time, and I probably would have passed out in the middle of it. So, let's all be thankful, or at least I will, that I didn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Put that on, put that on, put that on. Hooray. Now I gotta go talk to Frelly. Gotta keep in mind that now I gotta keep an eye out for Glowstone. Because I kinda want that Skeleman costume. It's interesting, you know? It's it's kinda unique. I like unique stuff. Okay, let's seal that deal. <laughs> and off we go. Again. <laughs> now, let's see. I want my frost resistant headpiece and that and that for just now. And full circle. This way. I am going to continue to keep an eye out for other stuff that I can see while I'm traveling over this way, but I'm going to take a more direct route for uh, Dragon's Exile this time. Try not to get too distracted. Although I am kind of guessing I'm going to have to deal with at least one more Mulduga before before uh, I manage to find Barda. Seems likely, anyway. It's fortunate, then, that they're not particularly complicated, once you know their deal. Have I been here? I haven't, but there's another Mulduga. And they're faster than sand seals, aren't they? They're faster than sand seals. I gotta get off and get... Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, there's definitely a Korok here. I can see that right now. So let's... First off, let's incapacitate the Mulduga. There we go. And grab my seal. And head over to that Korok. There we go. Oh, these pillars coated in some kind of rare gems, too. Hi, Korok. I sure did. Great. Is he... He's conscious again, okay. Well, let's do it again. Here you go. Did you hear that? No? Well, you're that one. Woof. Woof. Not a pretty face, I tell you what. <clears throat> okay. There he is. But you know, it really is a good thing for me that he doesn't just straight up eat... ...sand seals. Because honestly, it's a little surprising that he doesn't. Oh, he didn't hear that. Okay, well... How about this? Do you hear that? Yeah, that did it. There you go. Perfect. Just, uh... Quickly, quickly... Try and... See what we got down here. I kinda thought so. Kinda thought it'd be kinda nice stuff... On the pillar... Directly next to the Mulduga. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, Seal. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is he okay? He's okay. He's okay. Okay, I gotta incapacitate the Mulduk again. Ho oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Okay. Oh, he's rampaging. He's rampaging. Okay. You know that other time when I incapacitate him and then this the, the great music continued on for a while? This must be what he was doing. He hadn't actually stayed incapacitated, he was just... <coughs> so angry. Just so angry. Ugh. Would you just go underground again? I know you're mad. I can't help you. Well, I mean, I could, but I'm not going. I'm not going down there to get eaten. I'm just not, okay? Okay. All right, there he goes. Now, did you hear that? Yes, you did. Don't eat my seal. There we go. <coughs> okay. Not cheese. You landed right on him. You punk. Okay. First sapphire. I noticed this while he was rampaging around. Okay. Back to the seal. Back to the seal. Right now. Seal, we're going. We're leaving. Okay, okay. I'm disoriented. I'm going the wrong direction. It's okay. Okay, there's a ladder over there. I don't know what it, if it leads to anything. Okay, I seem to have outstripped him. Good. <coughs> Whew, okay. Good. Dragon's Exile's right over here. In the middle of that sandstorm? Well, that's promising. Okay, there's the Leviathan Bones. Or, no, that isn't. I saw it on the mini-map, but I was wrong. Okay. This looks... This looks risky. I'm not gonna lie. This looks like a bad place to go. Oh, jeez. It is a sandstorm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if this is how I'm supposed to be going about this. Or if I'm just gonna get... Completely lost. Okay, we've got one of the enemy, the, the skulls, one of the enemy skulls. And they seem to have a bunch of guards posted. I can't go any farther. Okay, so we've reached the edge of the map. Now I know in between the two skulls was where the Leviathan skeleton was, and I'm guessing that's where I need to go. I may have to <laughs> step outside of the sandstorm and get my bearings. I think that's pretty much what's going to have to happen here. Thank goodness for sand seals. This would be miserable without one. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Based on the directions I'm looking at here, I would say... that I was... in the wrong area. Probably. Let me just put that on. Okay. So right... here. I think. I think I'm aimed directly at the Leviathan bot bones. Of course, we may be dealing with a supernatural situation here where... Oh, okay, I found it, I found it! Gerudo Great Skeleton. There's a friggin' Great Fairy! Okay. And that must be Barda. I think. Ugh. It is Barda. Hooray! Man, good job making it here. Uh... Are you... a fairy? An angel? Are you here to guide my passage? Uh... Everything's going hazy. This might be the end. Come on, step out of it. Uh... Ugh. If only I could have eaten a hearty durian one last time. A hearty durian. A hearty durian. You know, I don't think I have a hearty durian. Do I? Let's find out. I don't think I do. Uh, ah, spirits of the goddess, before you bear me away, could I have just a bite of delicious durian? Just one taste of a hearty durian. Yep, I don't have one. Okay, so I'm gonna have to come back here, but at least I can teleport here now. Ha <laughs> ha! Great. Okay, Hawakoth Shrine. And a great fairy. And when you when you got a fairy, means you've got 
standard fairies too, and I'm gonna just seize this opportunity to restock because I feel like I've chewed through my fairy supply pretty handily lately. Oh, come on! Oh, I messed it up. Scared away the fairy. Alright, alright. Why are you so far up there? I can't... I can't reach you! I guess that's the whole point. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, very clever. There. At least I got two. Two is much better than none. With given the amount of stuff around here that can just take my life out in one hit, wholesale, I can use all the fairies I can get. Boy. I've never heard this before. Sweet boy. Please, listen to my story. I feel like I've probably heard it before, but you know what? Go for it. I am the great fairy Terra. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become old again. All I need is 1,000 rupees. That's only half of what I've got right now. <laughs> Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now if you have the rupees, hand them over to me quickly. Yep, okay. Okay, here you go. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing! Yep. I was wondering when I run into another of you guys. <laughs> well, okay. That is quite the hair thing you got there. <coughs> ah, well, hello there. I am the Great Earth Fairy Terra. I am the oldest of the four sisters. There are only four of them. Okay, well, I've found three already. Dang. I've been watching your activities from inside my bud all this time. Have you? How? And haven't you been busy swinging that sword around, adventuring? I'm not just making wild assumptions, you know. I truly do see all. Mm. I'll prove it right now. I'll predict what you're thinking right at this moment. Hmm. Huh? You're probably thinking, can't we just skip to the part where she enhances my clothing, right? <laughs> Looks like I hit the mark, hmm? <laughs> what an impatient person. Why don't you show me the clothing you want to have enhanced? Depending on what materials you have on hand, I should be able to enhance your clothing, but it all depends. Oh. With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. Now, you know, no thanks. Not right now. I'll take care of that in between episodes. I'm gonna go check out that shrine. So I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Aw. Well, that's just a shame. Well then, I'm headed home. <laughs> Goodbye! Okay, great. Great fairy! Awesome. Only one more of those out there, apparently. I will definitely enhance my armor, but like I say, I'm just gonna take care of this business first. Let me in. <coughs> okay. Remote bombs and wind. Use the wind to your advantage to roll them in a certain direction or to blow them farther than you could throw them on your own. That's neat. I didn't know that. What's the deal? The current solution. Holocoth shrine. Okay. So we're doing stuff with electricity. Huh? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be needing to connect this thing to the orange thing using metal cubes, huh? Sure, I can do that. I can do that. Just like that. No problem. All done. Now can I break this connection and still get in? I can. Good. Because I'm thinking I might need these uh, boxes later on. Okay, so we got a metal ball and chain. And that platform looks like it might move eventually, but it doesn't right now. Okay, how long is the chain on this thing? There we go. I get it eventually. Huh. Seems like it's caught on something. Oh, it is. 
Okay, but I'm gonna need to un unravel it using magnesis because the whole thing's electrified and I do not wish to kill myself. Okay, okay. And just over here. Hey, there we go. So now I can get the portable core. Great. And just jump over this, and up we go. Great, I got it. Okay, so what's the deal here? First off, there is clearly a chest down there. Um, hello? Oh, good. Oh, good, okay. Ow! Thanks. Okay, at least I can hide behind this core. Shoot, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I get it. Ow! Get out of here, you punks! At least they all have, like, basically no hit points. Saving grace right now. Okay, there we go. Grab their materials real quick. And now then, let me see about that chest in the lake. Here we are. Let's fish that out. What do we got? Ancient core. Completely worthwhile. Let's just get this out of the way. I feel like it'll only complicate things. Okay. Now, what happens if these get activated? <laughs> I see! It throws you, so you have to keep it out of range. What happens if these get activated? Okay. Alright. Okay, so they're all just flippy bits. How about this one? I don't know what that does. Oh, that's just a place where you can put it so that it stays there. How about this one? <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Ah, okay. So that's a way to get into there once you've got a, I'm guessing, a gear that completes the mechanism. But I don't have such a gear, so right now, I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, so what's in here? Probably a giant gear, huh? <laughs> Would be convenient. What's this? Hey, money! You know, I actually can really use that money right now. I recently spent all my money on things maybe I didn't need that much, but I sure bought them, regardless. Okay, so I need a big old gear. What about over here? You guys you got any spare gears in here? Huh, there's another part to the puzzle. Uh... Okay... Oh, okay. Sure, I gotcha. So I'm gonna need to stasis... How can I do this, exactly? Okay, not like that, that's for sure. Oh! Oh, I get it, I get it. I had the wrong idea. <laughs> nah, I got this now. Just need to do like that. Oh, not quite though. I need to have one block on the other side. Yeah, okay, now I get it. Now I get it, okay. Because you need to have the same number of blocks, and this one has two blocks in front of it, and this one has one block in front of it. So I need to stasis this, then I step on that. Then I grab this thing here, and I slide it across. And now we let go of the switch, and we should have a complete circuit. Unless I'm very much mistaken. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! And guess what it is? Spare gear. Okay. Probably got a magnesis it, right? Yes. Good thing it's magnetic where all the other gears are not. <coughs> It'd be a little inconvenient if the the one puzzle piece to finish the the puzzle was entirely un <laughs> inaccessible to my manipulation tactics. Okay. Just slot this right in here. Oh, well that just kind of went... 
I sort of pushed it through the... Oh, I see. It looked like it was a cutscene, but it wasn't. It was, it was just showing me that it did that. Cool. Alright. Now we just, uh... Activate this. Hey, look at that. And the puzzle is solved. Huzzah. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's just make sure there's nothing behind. There's not. Great. I did it. All right. I like your pose. You just got the one. He's like, you know what? Those other guys are kind of show-offs. But you know what? Sometimes one ring is enough. He's very casual about it. Good on ya. Alright. So here's the plan. I'm gonna upgrade my armor while I'm outside. And then we're heading back to Gerudo Town. And hopefully, hopefully, we've actually got it done this time. Uh, also, I'm going to stop by the goddess statue and upgrade myself a couple times. Because, man, I got ten spirit orbs. I should really make use of some of them. So, yeah. That's the plan. I feel like we made some good progress today. So, thank you for watching, as always. And, uh, yeah. Next time, we'll <laughs> hopefully finally get that Thunder Helm. Unless, uh, unless I'm missing something else. I hope not. Alright. I'll see you next time.